When last week I was in Uvalde and I was meeting on this day a week ago with parents who had lost that person that they love most in the world, that gives them their purpose in their lives. The pain, the grief, the suffering, the absolute disbelief. There is no way this can be real. I heard more than one parent say to me. I think this moment calls for us to try to imagine, because we all say, I cannot even imagine what that would feel like. Please try to imagine what that would feel like for 19 different families to lose that little boy or that little girl that was their everything. Now, if there's no one I love more than my kids, there's no one whose judgment I fear more than my kids. Um, you all know what I mean if you've got kids or, or grandkids, right? And sooner or later, they're going to ask each one of us, because our kids are our conscience, what did you do? Dad, what did you do about it? The choice that we make right now as a state, each of us individually, is going to define us and potentially haunt us for the rest of our lives. And I'm asking us to think about that choice right now. Talking about choices that we have as a state, choice about who's going to lead this state, choices about the agenda that we'll pursue, choices about who is important. Is it our donors and our contributors and the political points that we can score, or is it the children of the state of Texas? I think present company agrees it's the children. You cannot address gun violence without addressing guns. So, I have traveled the state of Texas. I talk to people who agree with me. I listen to people who vigorously disagree with me, including on this issue, and I find some common ground. And this is the place where I intend to start as governor.